So just doing a little bit of investigation into the problems with the um, NV7200. Now I found this service in the Panasonic NV7000 from Television Magazine in July 1986. So I printed this out um, and it would be interesting to see if um, there are any answers. Now. There's also uh, a rather nice series on the development of coloured tubes, which is quite interesting and well worth a read. But the section that I'm interested in is this, which is servicing the Panasonic. So with all of these things, I think the first thing that I want to do is check the power supply. So in conjunction with the... Um, service manual or technical training manual we're going to have a look at the power supply section if such a section exists in, in this manual so if we can't find it in here then we do have although this is the model below we do have um, something that will certainly get us started although as we know from Certainly the Ferguson 3V22 and 3V16, the more basic machines are quite different when it comes to the power supply itself. But certainly checking the voltages from the power supply is going to be a brilliant place to start. The next section I'll probably want to start is having a look, um, probably not here because that's power supply faults, uh, so we don't have a dead machine. Probably have a look at the luminance and chrominance panel. It says that few problems occur. Uh, when a fault does occur, it can be extremely puzzling due to the complex circuitry. Don't disturb the highly critical adjustments on the panel. So in other words, don't touch any of the capstan adjustments or anything of that sort of nature or colour burst or other things. So, we have a colour bar input to the VCR, observe the waveform, well, I don't have an oscilloscope so I can't do that, but it would be interesting to see if feeding a colour input in via RF does actually generate a colour picture on the screen. So it says here that obviously there aren't many problems, but, you know, this was back in 1986 when these machines were still fairly new. It might be worth checking to see if there are any newer um, faults available. So what else have we got? Heads. Uh, doesn't. Oh, this is interesting. A fair picture from a fair picture from a pre-recorded cassette, but a poor one from a recording made by the machine can be a sign of worn heads. You can check the heads by playing the Panasonic alignment tape. Oh, okay. Make sure the tracking control is in the fixed position. We find, however, the best method, provided you have a spare drum to hand, is to try a new set of video heads. This is quick and reliable. It's done in, two, in, done in minutes. Just two screws and four soldered connections. The leads are colour-coded, so it's not difficult to wire them incorrectly. It's been done, though. If you get a winding reversed, you end up with a nice and monochrome picture, but no colour. OK. It's always best to fit the correct heads supplied by Panasonic. You'll find it cheaper in the long run because with correct heads fitted, no or minimal adjustments is necessary. Let's find some heads as well. So it might actually be worth starting um, with some new heads. But the thing is, the picture looked OK, but in black and white. But if you remember, we were having problems with a recorded cassette made, not on that machine, but made on another machine. So that could be somewhere to start, certainly. And that's all I have for that. So, because I did wonder if it was a head amp issue. So video playback process, page 31. It could literally just be a problem with dodgy heads, quite literally. So that's page 30, this is 31, so this would be the video playback process. Interesting, so that 
yeah, I think that is definitely going to be the first place that I'll check. Renew the head, or renew the upper head drum. Anyway, just wanted to provide you a quick update on the troubleshooting process with the NV7200. So, this is certainly a good thing to get hold of. Yes, it is to do with the 7000, but um, similar model, similar setup. This training manual, also another one, good one to get hold of as well. They do turn up from time to time, although not as often as you would like. Anyway, once again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.